so the Marvels is going through its third round of reshoots. Kevin Feige and the boys over at Disney are panicking. They cannot figure out why this movie just won't work. And what they don't understand, and Disney, look at me, all right? What Kevin Feige and the executives over at Marvel don't understand, and it's very simple. When a horse has a broken leg, you shoot it and you put it out of his misery. Kevin Feige, it's time. This isn't going to work. You cannot make this good. No one saw Captain Marvel and walked out of the movie theater and said, man, I can't wait for a part two. No one saw the Little Miss Marvel show and said, man, I can't wait to see what kind of adventure she gets into next. And as to the one on top? Bro, who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is that? Why should we care about this ensemble? Why should we care? Seriously. Who in their right mind thought this was a good idea? They are literally trying to make a shit sandwich seem appealing, seem good. Throw it away, Disney. Throw it away. DeSantis is coming for you over in Florida. You need the tax break. Write it off. Nobody is going to miss this movie. No one's going to be like, oh, shucks. We were really looking forward to that Marvels movie. Nobody is checking for it, dude. Brie Larson herself, she knows nobody wants to see her come back. Are you play Captain Marvel for? Her? No, no, no. I don't know. Does anyone want me to do it again? <laughs> don't be so modest. I don't know. I really don't know. Disney, I'm telling you, write it off. Scrap the entire movie. No one will miss it. You can write it off on your taxes. $300 million loss. You're going to need it. DeSantis is literally coming for your pockets. He's about to shake you guys down. The world will be a better place if Disney doesn't release it. I mean, what are we really missing out on? So this is what's at stake for Disney. This is the premise to the Marbles. Following the events of Miss Marble, Carol Danvers, Cam um, Kamala, and Monica begin swapping places with each other every time they use their powers and must team up to figure out why. So that is what Marvel is trying to make work? This is what Kevin Feige is doing the research for? This is what they're spending all this money and time on? Fucking Freaky Friday? Yo, Disney. Scrap it. I'm telling you. Scrap this movie. Nobody wants to see a Freaky Friday Marvel movie. So it appears the Marvel reshoots are happening, which will remove goofy scenes as a result of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, as well as noting that the MCU is just too damn goofy. That's interesting, because that's the only way this movie will work, is if it's goofy. It's a Freaky Friday movie. They're swapping, they're swapping places, you know. It's that's that's what this movie is. It's supposed to be goofy. So how else are they going to make it work? What, what, what are they going to do? Try and make it more serious? Disney, listen to me. If you truly want to make this movie funny, right? If you truly want to make this movie work, let's get Amy Schumer in there. Let's get Amy Schumer in there. You know, she's known for stealing jokes, right? Have her come in and steal their powers. And that's who they will fight against, right? They will team up and fight against Amy Schumer. Or you just completely scrap the entire thing. And I promise you, Disney, if you scrap this movie, nobody will lose any sleep. It is a relief. Because again, when you're riding a horse and it breaks its leg, it's time. Don't forget to subscribe. Sensational.